yeah, so let's make this. Hello guys, this is David Rania and I want to show you how I made my track Estrelitzia. Uh, it was released on Octopus Black Label last year and I want to make a wall through. So let's go, let's begin. In. Um, this is how it sounds. So normally when I do a track, I begin um, with the kick. Um, it's it's not the what I usually do every time, but uh, this pretty much time is uh, so what I'm doing. So let's see. Uh, in this case, I have used this um, Decimort, which is a plugin from uh, D16. Is yes, this one? And I use it a lot when I begin to begin to make techno. Um, I try to give some character to some parts. Uh, it's a distortion that works very very good. Look. Okay, and it makes uh, a lot of stuff there. Actually, I add as well um, a small river here and the fab filter simplon which i use uh, to make this uh, this high pass you know and uh, okay this was the kick and uh, this is the soup uh, it's a big soup base and i normally use the the same plugin uh, for this matter um I'm using contact, okay? And inside contact we have this um small plugin and I think it's not very heavy, uh which is the 808 uh, analog warfare, like you see here. Uh like I said, it's very simple because you have the uh, the samples and you can do so much with the with the samples just attack the guy sustain release and maybe some touch i don't know kind of this stuff but it sounds pretty like a like a heavy uh, bass or a sub bass sorry and it works very good together sometimes i i use side chains to combine this, uh, both samples kick and so but this times it works uh, works good like uh, like it is um, after that I think I'm adding uh, this effects it's an inversion of the effects and in the effects I'm, I don't know if I'm using so much stuff here um, yeah I'm using a parametric um, low cut I'm using Vintage Warmer, which is a, a plugin I, I really use uh, a lot. I have been using this plugin from the very beginning and I'm still using it. Uh, the thing is right now I'm, I'm moving my my equipment to 64 bits finally. And I think we, we don't have this plugin on, on 64 or, or maybe yes, I, I need to check. But it's a plugin that really works so good. Um, especially uh, to make the sounds uh, fatter and like you see if I don't use it it's like it's like a small sound and I'm using this liquid verb this um, I'm sure is not working on, on 64 bits it's just 32 and need to use uh, a bridged one um, but I don't know it's but um, it's very simple reverb and it works very good for me. And like I said, um, before I'm, I'm using it from the very beginning, I know very well how it works. So that's it. Yeah. Better keep it, uh, keep it simple. 
and now I have this hi hat. Okay. Okay, with this hi hat, I'm using a parametric as well. Yes, a high cat, a, sorry, a low cat, and I'm using Oxford Inflator, uh, which is very nice. Uh, it was like a limiter compressor, and for me, it's, uh, it's very, very useful because uh, it changed the um, the size of the of the um, of the sound, and it just have um, these faders, and it's very easy to use. And okay, like I said before as well, uh, better keep it simple, and that's it. I'm using a delay uh, to give some groove to the hi hats as well, and uh, the same verb that before. Okay, so there's four samples together, sound like this. Um, after that, I'm using, uh, let me check. Okay, I'm gonna open this, which uh, is the automation of the of the samples. That's it. Okay. Okay, I have another hi hat here, and I'm think I'm I'm using the same than before, but instead uh, here I'm using the stereo enhancer, which works. Um, uh, better for um, stereo panning and as you see I'm um, just putting the the knob just here and it changes the okay, the stereo okay see it's kind of mono now it's uh, it's very open on the stereo and parametric as well Oxford Ricky verb that's it that I have this clap I think it's 909 probably it is if it's, if it's not <laughs> it sounds like a, like a 909 um, the plugins I use are almost the same parametric uh, vintage warmer and the um, distortion from decimal and the liquid verb that's it I have uh, this symbol as well. Which is pretty much the same parametric in this warmer and liquid verb. And this club. I think it has a. Uh, uh, no, it's the distortion from the sample. Um, as you see, parametric, Oxford, and liquid. That's it. I have the tom. Uh, I think it's panned a little bit. Okay. Um, as you can see here, um, no normally the um, this, the the sounds in the piano roll are in in C five, and now I'm using D um, to change the the pitch a bit because uh, because it ma it fits better on this on this track. I think it's now with the tonal to the track and probably. A vintage warmer parametric liquid. As you can see, I'm I'm not uh, making so much experiments on the on the track and on the on each channel. Uh, sometimes I do, but uh, especially for these uh, percussive tracks and this kind of techno, I think it's not strictly necessary, and it's working pretty good like it is. Let's see more. We have this storm as well, and one is the, the other one is panning to the right. This is panning to the to the left, 
and both work uh, good together. Actually, this the the green one is is very noisy. Probably I I should uh, equalize a bit more on low frequencies, as you can see here. Okay, we should do like this to still have more low frequencies. I still have uh, another tom, which is this one, the high one, and I think it's the one uh, who's doing this. Uh, okay, let me check. No, it's this one. Uh, the red one, uh, it has an, uh, a pitch automation. And, and do this this good thing which is uh it's before the 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 track is uh breaks um okay let's go to the scenes oh, okay B before i have this rim here 909 as well and um as you can see in the um, in the effects section, uh, we have parametric, inflator, uh, delay, and liquid verb. Um, here we have the fusion. Like I said, this is gonna be this is gonna do it. Uh, uh, it's not fusion. <laughs> it's the it's the basil, which is the um, the most recognizable synth here in this track. You can see it's a simple arpeggio, okay. Um, I don't do it so much in it. This one is. Um, I just made an automation with the Valhalla Simmer, okay. Just doing this before the breakdown. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, another synth, uh, it will be a silent, probably. Its name is like that, so I, I expect it's a silent. Yeah, it is. It's another weird synth. Uh, as you can see, it's the same note and just uh, this automatations here. It's one for the release, one for the revert, and one for the decay on the reverb and sounds like this simple but effective After that, we have a uh, surgy. Uh, this song is uh, one of the songs uh, from myself. I think it has uh, uh, this amount of, uh, of weird sounds. I made it special uh, thinking on, on octopus. And uh, I think they, they work good together. And Probably the, um, the effects I'm using are kind of the same. Um, yeah, and that's it. And then I have as well this one. It's another silent. Yeah. It matches very good with this one.
and finally I have this uh, hi hat from always <laughs> 909. Let me check. Yeah. What I normally do is um, to send uh, the same channels, uh, the hi hats, to another to another one, which I call it in Spanish uh, suma achacha. And uh, I do the the phaser and the and the load cut with the with the simplon and all together because it's um, very nice when you arrive to a to a breakdown and it sounds like this. That's it. Uh, keep it simple and try to <laughs> make good tracks. Uh, I think the final result was uh, was very good. A bit weird, uh, in my honest opinion, but it was it's quite it's quite good. Uh, so I hope you like it and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye. <laughs>